Welcome back students to Alchemy Online class. In previous class we learned about the laboratory thermometer. In that we have learned about how to use the laboratory thermometer and which precautions are to be taken while using it. We are knowing that the range of the laboratory thermometer is minus 10 degree Celsius to 110 degree Celsius. Then we learned about the maximum minimum thermometer also. Now before we start today's class, we will discuss the answer of the question which was asked as homework. The question was, name one liquid apart from mercury which can be used as a thermometric liquid. Give one use of it. The answer is, alcohol is the liquid which can be used as a thermometric liquid. This alcohol is having very low freezing point that is minus 115 degrees Celsius. As we all know that the freezing point of mercury is minus 39 degrees Celsius. So it is having the limitation it cannot uh, measure the temperature below it. So to measure the temperature below 39 degrees Celsius alcohol thermometers are used which are having the very low freezing point is the alcohol is having very low freezing point that is minus 115 degrees Celsius. Generally it is used for meteorological measurements where minimum temperatures can be measured. When we are keeping a frying pan on the flame it is becoming hot and when we are removing it from the flame it is cooling down. Why is it so? Why is it becoming hot or why is it cooling down? It is because the heat of the flame is transferring to the utensil. While the other case when we are removing it from the fire, the heat is transferred from the frying pan to the surroundings. This means in both the cases, the heat is transferred from the hotter objects to the colder one. Generally in all the cases, the heat flows from a hotter object to a colder object. So we are going to investigate this statement whether it is correct or not. We are going to do one experiment. For the experiment, I have taken one metal scale on which I fixed pins using the wax at different intervals. And now you can see how I have arranged the scale and the candle. In that, if you see from one side, the candle's heat is given to the scale. Now what happens to the pins you have to observe it. As the heat is transferring from the scale when it is moving ahead one by one the pins will drop. Why is it happening so? Why the pins are falling down? Keep on observing what happens to the other pins. experiments you can see that the pins are falling one by one it is because the heat is transferring from the hotter end of the scale towards the colder one and because of that the wax is melting and the pins are falling down so we can conclude from this experiment that the heat transfers from the hotter objects towards the colder objects now generally the process in which the heat is transferring from the hotter and towards the colder and is known as conduction. This process is known as conduction and generally this conduction is seen in the solids. The solid objects are showing this conduction. 
the scale is solid it is made up of metal and in that the heat is transferring by the process of conduction in your textbook one activity is given you can do this activity at your home also take one glass pour some hot water to it and put one plastic scale and a metal scale into it for few minutes after few minutes touch the ends other ends of the scales you will feel that the metal one is be becoming hotter while the plastic one is less hot than the metal one why is it so it is because the certain materials are allowing the heat to pass through them easily while certain materials are not the materials which allow the heat to pass through them are known as conductors while the materials which do not allow the heat to pass through them easily are known as the insulators again i am repeating this thing the things the materials which are allowing the heat to pass through them easily are known as conductors for example aluminum iron these metals are the good conductors they are allowing the heat to pass through them easily while the plastic wood these materials are not allowing the heat to pass through them easily so they are known as insulators they are the poor conductors they are known as the insulators water and air water and air are also the poor conductors of heat if they are poor conductors of heat then how does the heat transfers in them the mode of transfer of heat in water and air is known as convection we will learn about convection in detail in the next class this is the end of today's class in today's class we learned about the process of conduction in which the heat transfers from hotter end to the colder end this is generally seen in the solids then we learned about the conductors and insulators conductors allow the heat to pass through them very easily for example aluminum iron copper etc and insulators do not allow the heat to pass through them easily for example plastic and wood so uh, one homework i want to give you that is you have to go through the activity 4.8 and 4.9 and then we will discuss more about these activities in the next class so we will meet once again in the next class till then be happy be at home and keep learning